Hi, welcome back to the Evolver. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the iPhone X or 10 for the first time when you take out from your box. If you are existing customer with the iPhone, I mean if, if you have the previous version of the iPhone, it's really simple and easy to activate your phone at home. So let's go through the process. So after take out the iPhone from iPhone X from your uh, from the box, make sure your old phone is on as well. So just gently press the power button from the side and wait for reboot. And voila, here is the Apple white logo. Okay, this is the new feature. So, yeah, so as soon as your new iPhone X you turn on, is automatically send the message to your old phone that you like to set up a new phone. So, press in your old phone, click continue, and voila, here is the waiting for pair so you can see okay yeah here so now you just your hold your old phone and focus on to that glue thing and start continue set it up So we are waiting to set up. Okay, finish on new. So you're gonna get message. It says finish on new iPhone. Keep this iPhone near your new iPhone while your information is being transferred so it's gonna keep continue pairing with my new iPhone X so in the iPhone X is gonna ask you to face ID detection you wanna continue on set up later I'm gonna continue so continue and I am So what's going on here? So this is your direction to face ID. So I'm gonna hold it. Sorry guys. So it asked me to do it again. Okay, face ID now set up. We're gonna get a message, face ID being set up. And now also obviously you can put your passcode as well. So in case face ID doesn't work, the camera is a little blurry, so I'm gonna type my passcode. Okay, it says setting up your phone. ID. They're still saying on your old phone is uh, finished now on. Okay, so it says iPhone 6 is backup. So I have it asked me to as a update backup before restoring or restore from November 16 this date choose other backup I'm going to go through update backup before restoring okay. 
or I'm going to continue with the restore from today. Okay, ask for the term and condition as usual. Term and condition agreed. And setting up your backup. I'm gonna click continue. And ask for Apple Pay setup. So I'm gonna skip that setup later. Apple Watch, do you want to Apple Watch with the iPhone? Yes, I want. Here is my Apple Watch. Continue. App Analytics. Yeah, sure, why not? True Tone Display. Continue. And voila, it's asked for software update iOS 11.1.2 download and install as for my passkey which I'm not going to share with you guys okay this for again term and condition because of the new updates agree download over Wi-Fi yeah sure and is downloading fast three seconds two seconds remaining one second remaining so it says in your old phone sorry finish on your iPhone your Apple ID can now be used to set up your new iPhone and click OK so now I can continue with my new iPhone so we are waiting for new update so it's uh, iOS 11.1.2 still downloading it's almost done so it's gonna go with installation crazy I'm waiting more than few minutes okay so it's download complete you can see it says download complete and install this is a verifying the update so after you uh, get your new iPhone X so those things you have to go through before you actually use it so yeah you pair with your old phone so it's transfer all your data and then you set up your face ID then you go through a whole bunch of setup then it asks for the new update and take a few minutes to download the update then few minutes to install and then reboot and then start finally start installing I mean it's not a, like a huge update 
but it's taking it's still taking pretty long time to install so Yeah, so installation part is going really slow. So I'll be back. Okay, so finally it's finish update and reboot and it says software update is completed. Swap up, finish setting up your iOS 11.1.2. Swap up. Oopsie. Okay, do I download it with my face? Okay, as for my ID and the password to complete setup. So it's going through the update iCloud setting. So it seems like after uh, take this out from the box, uh, going through the activation process and setup and uh, all other stuff uh, is uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's going through my restore from iCloud. So uh, maybe it's uh, another 5 or 10 minutes. Who knows? But yeah, so don't expect to use your new iPhone uh, as soon as you take out from the box. You need to go through a whole bunch of settings, pairing, and restoring from your whole backup. So it's like an at least, uh, at least. Uh, 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Says the time remaining three minutes to restore from iCloud. Two more minutes is going a little bit faster this time, about one minute.
Okay, seems like it's gonna go for another reboot. Yeah. So after finish restoring from the backup, it's gonna go for another reboot and wait for okay so says swipe up to upgrade okay you can see it says swipe up to upgrade in a really big wide screen okay I'm swiping up ask for my passkey and again is going through installation restoring part Okay, so now it says hello. Just unlock with my face ID and then swap up, restore complete, continue, and I'm going through a whole bunch of scanning again. It says it takes a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Okay, it's ask you to go through continue to Apple Watch setup. To drone, all this, and it says go home, continue. So I'll just give you all the instruction how to use your new iPhone. So a whole bunch of stuff. And finally, it says, Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up, and here is my background. And it's updating all my previous apps and other stuff. So, so yeah, uh, at least um, um, uh, 20 to 30 minutes you have to wait uh, before you can use. Um, unless you uh, continue use uh, with uh, as a new iPhone without restoring from old backup. So thank you for watching, and I hope um, you guys have enjoyed my video, and it might help you to set up your new iPhone.